Hey everyone, James here with Rococo and I'm back with another tutorial for you. Um, this is actually going to be a, a little bit of an extension to our Cinema 4D tutorial um, for our DAS 3D users. Um, now we've gotten a couple of questions from people who use DAS 3D asking how they can go ahead and apply uh, studio animations to their DAS 3D characters. Um, and they're asking that because uh, the DAS 3D rig is just a little bit different um, than normal. And so this video will show you how you can go ahead and do that. So while we get started. Uh, so we're just going to use our sample uh, walk simple uh, animation that we provide in our sample project. And um, once you have your animation ready to go, let's just go ahead and hit export. And so you have your exports options here. We're just going to keep everything uh, set to default, including our skeleton. Um, so we're going to export it out as a Rococo Newton default skeleton. So once you're ready to go, let's go ahead and hit export. And then once it's exported, uh, let's jump on over to Cinema 4D and um, import it into there. All right, so here we are in Cinema 4D. And now what we want to do is just import the DAS 3D character that we have and also the animation we exported. So in order to do that, we go to File, Open, and then we'll navigate to where our character is. And then click Open. And then you'll notice our import settings, but we're just going to leave these as the default settings and not change anything. Click OK. And then here you are. Here's your character. And then we'll go ahead and import our uh, animation, but we'll go to File, Merge. And then we'll navigate to our animation. And then click OK. And then we'll do the same thing here. We'll leave it all default. Um, you need to make sure that tracks is uh, checked otherwise it'll just import the rig of the animation and not the actual animation itself so once that's uh, selected click OK and then you have uh, your both the animation and the um, the character in, in inside of Cinema 4D we can go ahead and play um, just to make sure that it, the animation does play which it looks like it does all right and so now what we want to do is uh, essentially we're going to retarget um, all of the joints from our DAS 3D character to our animation rig. Um, though if you take a close look at the joints on our character, you'll notice that it is a little bit different than what's on our um, actual animation rig. So this is what um, you know some, some people might have some trouble with trying to figure out which joints should be um, retargeted to um, which DAS 3D rig joints. And so um, I will actually have in the description of the video uh, a list of which specific joints will be paired uh, with the DAS 3D rig. And so you can keep a lookout on that. Um, but before we go ahead and do that, um, just for organization's sake, I want to go ahead and clean this up a little bit so that I have a little easier time kind of viewing things. So I'm going to actually drag out our um, character rig outside of here um, so that it, it takes away the, um, the joint that was right there. And then also we're going to just add this to a layer. So we'll right click and then we'll select children so that it selects all of the joints under here. And then we'll right click again and then go to add to new layer. And if we go down to our layers tab that's down here, we can see our new layer. And so I can tap toggle it on and off. Um, and so we'll, we'll, we'll leave it on for now. Um, but once the animation plays, I might want to toggle it off um, so that I can actually see the animation on our character. Um, and so, after that's done, we'll just go ahead and start the um, um, retargeting process. And what we're going to do is we're going to use constraints. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, select each individual um, joint, and then we're going to right click and go to character tags and then go to constraint. And you'll notice it creates a little icon here right next to the joint. And then in order to see the properties of that, you just want to go down to attributes. And then now we can select what type of constraint we want it to be, um, which will, for this tutorial, we'll just be using PSR, which is uh, position, scale, and rotation. We'll check that. And then once you check that, you'll notice a little PSR tab um, show up right next to basic. We can click on that. And um, there is gonna be two things here that we're just gonna pay attention to. Um, the first being the office offset, and the second being targets. Now under offset, whenever we pair uh, two joints together, um, if this is left unchecked, um, the joint on our character is going to overlap on the joint on our animation. And we don't want that to happen. So we're going to go ahead and 
leave this selected so that when we do pair the joints, um, both of the, the joints will just remain exactly where they are. And so let's go ahead and do this first one. So for hip, what we want to do now is um, find our hips on our animation rig, which is right here. And we're just going to drag hips right down to target. And so now the hips on our character should be targeted to um, the hips on our animation. And we're essentially going to do that for all of our joints on our character. Um, and like I said, I'll leave a description of um, which particular joint should go to where. Um, but they are pretty uh, much named um, appropriately, so you should be able to figure it out. Um, but yeah, I'll go ahead and do that real quick in this video and I'll fast forward through it so that um, you don't have to sit there and wait. All right, so we've gone ahead and paired all of the joints together. Now, mind you, you don't need to pair every single joint together um, because just some joints don't match up properly. Um, but you just need to do, um, you know, the major ones that have like your that will guide the major rotations, like uh, your shoulders and part of your arms and legs and things like that. So, um, like for instance, we didn't um, map spine to. Um, or spine four uh, because they weren't necessary um, given on this specific rig. Um, and one other thing to note as well, um, for the hand and forearms, we unchecked the P here, which is the position, so that only the rotation is being copied. So we did this for both um, the left hand and the left forearm, and then also the right hand and the right forearm. Oh, actually, we'll go ahead and uncheck that. The right hand and then the right forearm. Um, just make sure that the position is unchecked so that only for those you're, you're copying over the rotation. And so once that is done, we can go ahead and test this out and see if it works. And it looks like it does. Let me go ahead and uh, switch to our layers and we can turn off our skeleton. And there we go. It looks pretty good. So that is essentially how you go ahead and um, um, apply studio animations to your DAS 3D characters. Um, like I said in the description, there will be um, information on which particular joints should be um, specified um, to the animation joints. And, um, you know, hopefully this will allow our DAS 3D users to be able to apply um, their SmartSuit Pro animations to their characters. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you next time.